champions at Makulong Stadium. A place that has his history steeped in farms and boreholes. I'll tell you a bit more about that a bit later. Mighty Australia versus Bangladesh. The All Blacks versus the rest of the rugby world in the most recent one. Conor McGregor versus Money Mayweather. The sporting world just loves an underdog story. Now the Guyana Netbank Cup team, they're going to need a miracle, judging by the stats, as I mentioned. Four years of no wins and no loss, uh, no goals, should I say more. Look, they may have not achieved any goals by scoring, but Netbank has achieved its ultimate goal of unearthing these young players. Let's just give credit to that and hope that tonight, today, Kim, Tim Kiyona will walk away with the trophy. That will be another goal. Pala puts it in the box and it's under the crossbar. Duduzi Kumal under massive pressure, the likes of Atefo Mashamaite and Azubuke Kwekwe. Super Sports United, they've been playing them behind the defence because they know that, one thing for sure, um, Tim Kiona is going to be strong in the middle of the pack, so they cannot pull that combination play. A decent delivery for Kiona team. He's getting closer at least. Well, at least they're taking their shots very well. They just need to find a way to force the keeper to pull a save and to just put them above the crossbar. They come again to the Fiona team, they line it up. There's a whole team. Machua, aka Tower. The ball, ball towering over. In fact, it was clean, but they do, do look alike, have similar physiques and hairstyles. Mudiba now, recipient of that. Uh, Aaron passes, Pala looks to cut on in his left foot. That's what they do. They got themselves in trouble with the Kiyana team. The difference between experienced campaigners and the likes of that man, Tuso Pala. That's that shashiga. That's that magic. Oh, it's a tough old lesson for the youngsters. Tuso Pala says, thank you, Nyabonga, for the free Sunday lunch. Look how he closed it with his strongest foot and then he tucked in. Only thing he needed to do was just a look at the keeper and then he took the strike at goal. Very central as Boateng delivers with his left foot. It was under the post. It was under the crossbar. Zabukwe, Ukwekwe, I don't know how he wasn't able to steer that on. And he was on side. Oh, just uh, slightly behind him, I think. The big Nigerian. Look, it was an early run for him. Ball comes in. It's that easy. It's Aubrey Mutiba who comes and haunts his former employers at the Kiona team. Apologetically almost says, ask you some sorry. I had to do it. The ball was that good. It's 2-0 to Super Sport United. And with that, is that the promise of more from the Kiona team done and dusted? Oh, lovely cross from Sian Tapo. He's been threatening with those balls more. Coach Tinkler asking himself what happened there. Good power there from Blakey! Golden moment from the man from uh, CPE. He traveled over a thousand kilometers using public transport to make it to Charles and Wolfson Stadium. Oh, now the game opening up in the last few minutes. They cross it in. It's the crossbar. That was flaky and lucky. Disappointing follow up from Mafunka. What movement. What a move there from the Kiana team. A beautiful move spotted him very well and he side-footed it but now the crossbar denied him goal oh Makati with a lovely touch the end super sport the toe poke finish in the end not good enough they had bamboozled and open up the Sakayana team easily nicely flipped over by Makati Prince Dube we're expecting him to do better oh the skipper changing the angle a bit oh Mbota drops the ball and with that they finally get a goal, albeit very fortuitous. Monty Potter says, here's an early Christmas present for you in September. It's him truly, the man who writes his name in the history books. The first goal scored to the joy of the four wise men. They finally done it. As the game hits the fifth minute of the stoppage time, it's it. Sanukolo Mjuli. Look away, Monjimporto, look away. That shows up uh, experience and the ethos of team sport. In the end, though, it's Tiso Pala who started in the 36th minute. Obi Mudiwa, it had to be him. In the end, it's 2-1.